When someone goes for a one-shot deal, he throws a whopping haymaker, boom, boom, and really launching at you. We have an opportunity to attack the arm. I want you to punch hard, okay? Really hard, really hard and hit it. Boom, boom, and again, boom, and again, boom, again, bang, bang, bang. I want to go into the arm and fill the space and attack the position. How's your arm feel? It's nearly dead because I, this force, again, just shut me down. It practically hit me on my nerve. When someone throws a haymaker, what they're doing is they're often clubbing with the inside of their arm. What you felt me doing was going and hitting into the inside of the arm. The second thing he felt was me contracting my arm. I tense my arm and I relax it quite quickly. So what happens when you do that is you attack. You attack, you attack the arm. Can you right? Can you do it? <laughs> it hurts because I'm taking the bone of my forearm and I'm cutting in and I'm using the edge and smashing into the underside, the weaker side of his forearm. Don't forget, he's haymaking like this. He's giving me ample opportunity to attack. If you learn the other systems of covering, which is basically to shell, okay, to shield, then you've got this. It's not a million miles away to be able to cover and learn to go in and combine the two. Whereas if he's punching straight and I manage to feed to the outside, which is what I like, it's very similar to a shield. It's not quite. And it's quite tight in the cover and the shield. It's really easy for me to cover. You see how efficient that is? What I'm not doing, bang, is leaving my hand and dropping this because when that punch comes in, crack, he's gonna hit me. Now, what you can do is you can feed across and bridge. Notice how my arm is greater than a 90 degree angle. It's going forward and that's really important. But this is the point and I say it all the time. Look at this hand. This is the most important thing. When he goes one and he goes two and I'm bridging, I'm holding. So you try to pull that back, I've got it. I'm holding it. So most of you are gonna to say to me, yeah, but he's really, really strong. He's gonna pull it back and he's gonna attack you. He pulls that back, bang, with that strength, my hands are gonna go forward. Going in, hitting back, pulling down, knee, stamping, punching, head butting, hit the face, elbow him, head butt him. But either way, I'm gonna to try to wrap and control this arm. So I guess the general point I'm trying to say is you can combine all the different ways you protect your head, but do it proactively. Get in, shut the space down, and actually go in and feel what the person does. Keeping my hands in his face is the most important thing, but what I'm doing, and this is the key thing, is closing that space on someone that's throwing wild punches towards my head. But the most important thing is that I'm finding the arms, I'm getting contact with the arms. And that is something that you have to do in a fight. You've got to know where their hands are, because if you don't, the guy's got a 50-50 chance of hitting you with either hand. I hold one hand, he can only hit me with the other hand. So the moral of the story is, when someone throws a punch, you attack them, you go straight at them. What you don't do is actually just put your hands up, because if you put your hands up, this arm is gonna smash straight into your face. So you attack someone that's attacking you, cause them pain, it worked quite well, doesn't it? It works very well. And that's all you need to know. Thanks for watching.